Interesting last pick here from Warriors Gaming into the TA. So it could still be the dual lanes. Uh, I guess any other any other laning options you see for them is Waynes is going to go for the full. He should be able to get experience at least. This only works out if Warriors Gaming does get some kills in the safe lane, and the, the one Elder Time death already kind of makes it hard. Alpha moving in bottom does not have access to Echo Stomp yet, so that will be fine. They're going to try to turn this one around. A little harassed for my size. They will usher him away, but so far, decent farm overall for Warriors Gaming. You mentioned you weren't that worried about the drought pick, and so far, TB like uh, working out, but Afu being chased down by Shadow the Dagger gonna cut him off. And now they might lose Ice Ice as well, as the Stick Charges trying to man up here, hold the grave for the last possible second, lets it go, the Io comes in, Innocence perhaps to the rescue, finds one, looking for a second in the trees. Afu though, able to hide away, and Ajit getting the double kill, and they force the rotation. That will make Kangaroo a lot happier. And Io Marana isn't particularly scary. Puck not level 6 yet, so... I'm able to have a big impact despite all the early movements. Well, at least, uh... I said, oh, they're going on Shadow. Set up here. There's the stop oh. follow-up. Apu catches two. Now looking for Ice Ice. Has the grave. No teleport scroll, though. To let these stick charges out. Do so just to ensure, uh... Yeah. Sweep around. This would be a great time to find that TA kill. Teleport scrolls are up on three heroes. He's in a pretty good spot. But one of those is not up. I can block that orb. There's the dust. Can they find the follow up? He gets bursted down. Good chain. And now looking for the arrow X Nova. Barely able to sidestep it. Keeps stack. Unfortunately, Innocence is here. Looking to soak up as much as possible. Arrow comes in. Blitz the wickets. Won't actually find a creep. And they're going to orb forward, stealing one big creep. They should be able to get a second. In fact, Daunting in and now committing the coil. Kangaroo will immediately retreat and this isolates X Nova. Trapped at the tower. Those puck auto attacks hurt. Wow. We'll find the kill. See of the Drow Ranger, who now has a max precision arm, and that is the power of leaving her alone. But as I say that, she will get caught now looking for Ice Ice. They've come packing dust, teleport ready, but she will have a chance to get out of there if the grave already committed. Will fall as well. Warriors Gaming, finally, some aggression from them. They do strike back. Or very little, at least, so it should be really abusable. He's so far ahead. I mean, he, has, he had more last hits than Drow Ranger. He's actually equal to Drow Ranger in last hit. This is technically an offlane fuck. They're gonna find the Cat Lady setting up here. Half the level four melts and burst them pretty quickly with the Earth Splitter coming through. One hit from the club oh, oh, and they oh, will oh. find the kill, but now the turnaround, relocate forward. Shadow trying to get in the front. It looks like Innocent perhaps a bit too far forward. Great timing on the grave, but still not sure he makes it out of this one. Tries to stay alive oh, for now, and he will fall at the cost though of Faith Beyond coming in and scooping up a double kill, making it a two for two around the map and now perhaps chasing Oh, more. they're turning. He's got blink. Epicenter coming in hot and heavy. Will isolate Faith Beyond. The Gust is there, but it's a bit too late. Shadow gets caught, and now they can set up for him. Another kill could be going the way of Warriors Gaming. Momentarily, look at the patience here on Kangaroo as he just waits for that sleep. Then blinking forward, has the burrow ready. Could find a fourth kill. Gets juked a little bit. Ooh. It is nighttime, so the vision's not the best. As Mirana comes in, Starstorm only hitting on one, and that's Nana with the refraction. The tower will fall, so they don't have that extra bit of damage. Nana, though, low. As the meld, can he make it out? Kangaroo coming in, burrowing onto two. He's gonna sacrifice his own life. They lose two cores for that, and Afu. I'll make it out, but blood that here in the bottom lane. Hurricane Pike build, so only around a thousand herself. Io actually doing quite well as far as items go. Smoke's gonna break there. Looking to they look for the fight now, and Kangaroo gonna get trapped in the pit for the moment. The relocate comes through. They're gonna gust him back, try to isolate him as much as possible. Good grave on Faith Beyond, so they'll bring down the Sankey nice and early. He buys back. In a panic to turn this fight. And now moving forward, Nana trapped down in the river. Basically surrounded, the relocate's gonna end, and now they might have the power play. Two heroes have to stream back in all the way from that bottom lane. The chase continues, Grave still Ooh. pulling out, but that Star Storm doing big work. They find the kill on the Mirana as a trade, looking for more. The crit on Ice Ice and chasing forward. Ajit perhaps a bit too far for him. The orb by the puck, the stomp as well. Good combos by Warriors Gaming. Can the Sand King get back into the fray? He gets silenced and dealt with again. It's a dieback for him. Oh, mamma mia. That is not what they were looking for. As Kangaroo will fall twice. Ooh. They also lose their PA. You know, Faith Beyond with the ultimate orb after the blink. So it will be interesting to see what this is. Is it a, a Lincoln's to make him almost invulnerable? Do we see the Hex? There we'll find out soon as an arrow comes in. It is going to connect. Hit Roche. I believe hitting the Roche it almost nailed the PA. He's lucky it didn't. Ajit now looking for the blink out to the high ground. Meanwhile, Afu getting forced back, and simultaneously Kangaroo with the epicenter, not really able to find a kill through this, and now they turn on him, pounding into him with auto attacks from the drought. 
<laughs> first one, and they're doing all this with the IO now out of the picture. Heads back to the top lane. Relocate Ooh, ends. Trouble in Roche too. And they will in the Roche and pit. Bring down Nana on the CA. I the Roche. That, that, that power of the relocate once again. Some balances. They didn't have a, a hero sitting in the front that's going to break the smoke for them, for example. And because of that, they they walk right into the pit. They had best case scenario with the arrow hitting Roche, but they get this. For Afu, there is a spell steal, and it will be the illusory orb. X Nova out a bit far, may end up going down in his own right. He's going to go for the TP away, and simultaneously they are going to lose their other titan. That's three down over the course of the fight. The grave keeping them alive. Wings Gaming just maneuvering warriors and. Towards the enemy jungle could be Blink and Ice Ice. Are they going to commit to cutting them off? The pings start to come out. They will reverse up to the high ground and continue pursuit. Leaping forward, Blink is there with the catch on X Nova, but the orb jaunt away. An arrow also fishing, dodged by Nana. Oh, three but minutes done. Three man burrow. Is he going to follow this up with an epicenter? It's a good sleep, but Faith Beyond is there. Keeps the silence on the Sand King, so he can't follow this one up. The now the Earth Splitter coming through connects onto it, and the BKB committed by Ajit, but he's running away with this BKB. Can't even man fight. That's not what you want out of your PA. In fact, chasing him down is Faith Beyond. The orb comes through, auto attacks. He gets the kill with the coil. Oh, that is not the BKB they were hoping for, Kevin. And and that silence on the Sand King just completely shut Warriors Gaming down garage, where you can't even rely on evasion, your HP's not that great on PA with this build. They're gonna move in. Nah, nah, the man out in front does have the Orchid ready to go. He's gonna get revealed by Shadow in good position, but the Burrow's there. Nice catch, follow-up coming through. The Stomp is gonna interrupt the relocate out. They might be able to find the kill now. Multiple heroes are splitter coming through. Focusing on Innocence, they will chunk him down with that excellent work on the meld. Now following up with the Shadow, looking for a second kill. Ice Ice there, but a good Burrow by Kangaroo. Trying to bring him down as well. Can they find the finish off Shadow? They will do, so he goes splat in a cloud of blood. And now the chase onto Ice Ice, just like that. They open the door, they find three kills, an arrow. A Marana, real answer to this aggression. They do have some good deep traps here. Bit of vision for the diner, but already suspecting the skank. Both teams gonna smoke, or uh, or scan, I should say, as Warriors Gaming are smoked, and it's gonna be two smokes crossing paths. Who gets the initiation? It's Faith Beyond with the special surprise and blinking into that was Kangaroo. Unfortunately, does get caught out immediately at the start of the fight. Even if he doesn't die, he's gonna be on the run. Tries to retreat. Ajit also scrambling backwards, getting overrun. Faith Beyond springs the trap, and Ajit has to BKB TP home, head held in hand. They're ready to wrap this time. They put Ajit in the front. But they're so ready for this rotation. Just look at Wings positioning, backing off, dropping the high ground ward, moving Shadow forward, and he will force the yeah, initiation on Nana. He's the Aegis Bear. Could be a good jump. Sand King coming through. Gets the stun to start the fight. On the wide, but the Grave is there to keep him alive. Kangaroo almost instantly dead. Again, in every fight, this poor soul, the Sand King down. Nana getting at least the D ward, but that's it. And they are now on the run. Two down with the Rubik also falling. Backing off, and Afu. Stop desperately trying to survive, but they start to close in on him. Ajit, already coming the BKB. Gotta back away. Oh, oh man. <laughs> and the arrow's gonna commit. Well, I'm not sure they really care to commit on that, but you can see the, the counters that Wings have prepared at this point for Warriors Gaming. He's gotta be careful. He's got BKB 10 seconds if things get real bad. Already a Rax down, Wings yet to drop a soul, and Shadow continue to see the armor counts pick up here is Blink now up to 37 armor and rising and not even the tank is here, a burrow strike by Kangaroo only connects on one and Shadow, the one he missed is there for the punish, not gonna fall oh, but instead nah. they turn on the TA, see you later, nah nah, nah nah boo boo, Blink's gaming, back to the well and I think basically back to game two into the drawing board Kevin. Those break hits are taking out half of anybody's HP and you just saw the TA get shot shredded by the minus armor from the weave and all of the right click force from wings just warriors gaming not coordinating in these fights where's the epi center if you're going in drop the epi you know if you're swinging around from the backside, drop the epi as the pa moves and the worst the part they gg while he's dead can't even buy back to at least get an epicenter off this yeah game. i mean it, 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 the laning was fine the laning was fine it's just they started the, the PA, I don't know, he just started moving around the map a little bit incoherent. I feel like they... And I really think it's strong. That skill. Five seconds. Super under. Really good. The 75 damage a second lasts like 8 or 9 seconds. Um, that's going to add up with Elder Titan Aura. The only downside is its damage. It might upset his, his ulti's 
He's gotten the second bounty rune, I believe. Yeah, he got the top one. So starting to catch up quite a bit while bottom. X Nova getting caught out the grave. This could be the first blood. Looks like it likely will be. Loose and beam there. Ends up going down. Wings, their patience pays off. Sticking with the aggressive Charlie, finding the kill. The acid spray, we're already going to see it. He yeah. will pull ahead. And Ice Ice has just been sitting atop this whole time, waiting for Kangaroo to come back to lane. And finally, he's here. Luna is not six yet, though. First break on oh, We're waiting for this orb, and now they're going to make their move. Kangaroo can't jaw in. It's too late. Caught by the crush. Has the coil ready. And the silence with the phase shift won't be enough. Wings find the kill. And they walk away, so very good patience there from the slaughter. An incredible amount of patience. But a huge kill. That's the one hero on a Warriors game that should be rotating. I think it's kind of a mistake he hasn't yet. Uh oh. The turnaround gonna come bottom, maybe fit beyond. Throw away, but the Drow Silence sets it up. Pretty underrated spell, Gust, I would say. It's certainly gonna help, or it's, it's gonna affect how well Sniper does move, for example, as well. Like, I just, I feel like Warriors game haven't rotated at all for them. Oh, there's a Gust bottom. Be Faith Beyond just TPing into the tower, straight into his own demise. Wade's gaming the quad hero ambush. You take the bot two, and then you take the mid two towers, then all of the uh, Aegis advantage that Wings should have is, is a little bit gone, but they gotta take a fight here. They wanna Scary. fight, and they move in. Ice Ice not quite level six. They're gonna even bring in the out. He gets silenced. They still chase forward. They really don't wanna focus him down. Nana's out in front. A bit out of position. Good silence on Ice Ice as he comes in, but it's only a level one silence, unfortunately, so they find that first kill. Sniper down. Looking for more. Kangaroo gonna orb away the burrow just a bit late. There's not much to defend him. Just X Nova behind the tower. No TPs on either of these heroes. They've seen that both are lacking, and they might just sweep around and go all in on this dive. There's the Lucent Beam to set it up. Afu there, looking for the stomp, but will he find anything? Doesn't have the mana for the stomp, actually only coming out with the Spirit for now, and now Ajit out of position. He'll go down as well, so that's two carries down. X Nova makes it out to safety, but a big turnaround by Wing. All the way over here. <laughs> They've literally chased them from here to here. But that, I think the movement from Warriors game is smart. They've got to try to take that, uh, t remove that tower advantage, especially because their laning stage went weak. Oh, going to see kill mid? Yeah, he oh, the swag, kangaroo. He orbs out like he's going to leave, and then he's like, oh, actually, I can kill you. I can kill you too. He has the stick charges. Ice Ice has to wait out this coil. The Drow Ranger's dead, though. He doesn't have the bonus damage that he was counting on. The stick will pop it. Waiting for the patient. Ice Ice with the patience. The pump fake gets it done. Oh man, it's almost a sick outplay there. Puck gets both oh, yeah. of those kills, but... I feel like uh, Warriors Gaming did see this TP though. Uh, or inside the smoke, they they ran far to the right. Nana's not reacting though. Okay, he's... I'm gonna call him dead. I think he's dead. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly wanker. So, it was kind of interesting how they did that. Um, Wings ran all the way to the right of that Observer Ward by the Dire Tier 2, and then they smoked. Um, <laughs> Very minus armor, much wow. Relic has been picked up. Radiance coming soon. You really need to give the Alpha the Ages out. I guess maybe the timing's perfect because they immediately move into the Roche and Pit, try to contest this thing. They're too late to counter the Roche. Can they win the fight? Now Ranger laying into Ice Ice on the Slaughter, not able to finish him off. The Illusion's marching forward. Shadow sweeping around, has the Eclipse ready. Just the Lucent Beam to start using the Alpha Illusions to scout. Give them a spot of extra vision. Always relying on Ice Ice to turn this around, but the Orb comes through, breaks them low, they're gonna chunk down the Slaughter. Oh, but he doesn't have the Radiance yet, they need that burn damage, it'd be easy kill after easy kill for them instead though. They do find the Sniper burrowing through, Blink not getting quite enough done, they're gonna kite him, control him, disruption there, but no one to follow it up, Face Beyond already used the Epicenter, he doesn't have the Blink to get back into this fight. They just down Kevin, they might be able to kill him twice. For Shrapnel here, any moment, no, they're gonna try to save, he's only got one left. Oh, doesn't look like he's got a great escape plan. He just slowly waddles in, death by the stomp. I'm a little surprised that they tried to force that fight so hard. I mean, you can man to dodge the out concoction. Okay. Remove great. the amp. It could be a casual Yasha for now. I'm not sure. I think you get Hurricane Pike first. Top lane. Catching out the Luna Shadow. Wow. Down. And Warriors Gaming right back in. Not only this game, but maybe the series as well. Though, as I say that, Ice Ice. He's got his Blink Dagger actually before his own Sand King. Faith Beyond gonna look to follow this up, catches the Burrow, but Apu could be a big stop. He gets great, connecting, now looking for the Air Splitter. Gonna land on the Shadow Demon, they kill off the Sand King in the trees, another death for him! A silence on the Blink, can they kill him off in time? The Alpha Fall, Ice Ice now giving Pursuit, but it's a very under-farmed support. Slardar, man mode from X Nova. Deadpool is the cause, so kill him off. And just like that, Wayne's completely hemorrhaging here. They are bleeding from every orifice, Kevin.
Right now, they are just farming, which is pretty much what this lineup looks to do. They're hiding a little bit. Oh, they could definitely catch him now. Find Shadow here. They see Kangaroo initiating well. forward. He already committed the veil, though. Shadow just going to walk away. Instead, they're going to turn back. They recognize that he's not alone. They find oh, they've got the two hero coil. Beautiful grab by Kangaroo Shadow. No TP available. Faith Beyond trapped in the trees as well. Has the TP out, but I don't think he would make it. Even if he tried, they pump in those Drow Frost arrows. And they find two and two, well, I'll call it cores, though, Sam King. Warriors Gaming should get the Roshan uncontested, slot open on Nana. They should know that grab this. it's there. I think this is more useful to Warriors Gaming than it is to, to Wings, so... I think it's an okay trade for what Wings wanted. If they can get this Luna kill, it'd be huge. Good of you to set things up. Kangaroo trying to be patient here, but perhaps the turnaround gonna come. The epicenter is there from Faith Beyond gets pushed away by a gust. Now the arrow is chunking into Ice Ice. Can they finish him off? They will. Epicenter. Oh, double stun. Oh, sorry, the burrow straight coming through. Get Exxon 2 looking for the additional kill of Pop the Ages. Good the combo there with the Alchemist. Do they find more? Hawk is very far out of position, spent this whole time trying to chase down the Luna, then jukes through the trees, can ambush them on the way up, still the coil, has the veil, but gets hit by a Lucid Beam, has to orb, tries to get away, now lets the Quill go, only connects on one carry, that is Blink, Chemical Rage cooling down, but it is up again, he's silenced, can they kill him off in time to stop, they'll find the kill, they look for Patreon as well, under Sandstorm, trying to scurry away, but the Frost Arrow's coming in, raining the pain through, four fall, looked like, it might be a turnaround fight for Wings, Kevin, but... Hey, buddy. Yule Scepter ready. Might wait for a TP out, which is about to cool down. Shadow into the trees. Oh, Kangaroo playing this one so patiently. Throws the orb to make sure he keeps the vision. Now the Yule Scepter interrupting the teleport. Then the silence and the sniper this little plank. A ho-ho, a ha ha and See you later, buddy. Another death for the Luna. On the dire side of the map, but they might just strike gold here as Ice Ice moves out. Shadow sitting back in the base. Very... Nervous about a potential movement. In fact, they're even moving into the dire woods. They almost are gonna perfectly locate them. The scan not quite connecting. It is nighttime, but now they look for their catch. Ice Ice with the quick reactions, though, still gonna get caught by the coil. That's committed. And now they follow this up. Shadow, Bail, already used on him. They're gonna aggressively try to force him back. Had to go for the disruption. And meanwhile, Faith Beyond committing the epicenter, but Abu gets grabbed at the last possible moment. At the buzzer, he TPs home to freedom. And still they move forward. Nana out a bit far, but able to bring down Blakey. Pops the beginning. He starts to work on the Beyond. Faith Beyond uh, epicenter down and on the run. It's the story of Sand King struggling this series. And the struggle will continue here as Sniper finishes him off. Four dead. And Kevin, if they go on to lose this game, Gem on Abu right now. Only Warriors Gaming with an easy way to de warp that. They could go for the puck here, they see him. Uh, yeah. Oh, they got him. As the Yules, though, he silences right as the Slaughter jumps in. Burrow Strike comes in. The timing by Faith Beyond as the phase ship's about to expire. A pretty important kill just to get some momentum for Wings here. The Illusion's heading streaming really towards mid. They're even going to send the Shadow Demon there to keep this push going a bit longer. They know Out in front, I'll take the bait. So far. I mean, I say bait. It's not really, though. Drow going to start things off. They're not seeing much backup for Blink, so they start to move more aggressively, but now the Sardar comes in with the crush. Ice Ice could be in trouble next. The coil's there, snaps instantly, and then one last Blink. Down he goes, now the chase forward. Core staff, or the Hurricane Pike in. They want to take this. This is still really dangerous. A lot of cliffs here. A lot of ways that Wings can approach with things like Epicenter. Could be huge, and they now have some Alk Illusion, but as I say that, the Veil just bursting them down. A fresh army created, they'll march in. Sniper turning back to deal with these. Oh, Alk revving up the stun. There's the losing beam, the prep. Now the Hurricane Pike back as Faith Beyond initiates in. The Draw Ranger call, but not dead yet. Hurricane Pike away for her, too. Blink out for Kangaroo. And now they can look for the turn. The coil's cooling down, Kevin. They're not finding these quick kills. They've already blown a bit of their load with the Epicenter. Faith Beyond's got a Glimmer Cape away with the help of Innocence. I don't know if they can really stick around with this coil about to be up, though. As I say, the Kangaroo oh, gets caught with a four step again, saving his life and maybe turning this fight a blink back. And all of a sudden, coil online. That's so they're gonna catch all the time at least. He's got a force in one. Looking for the catch at least, but simultaneously, Ice Ice, he went in, but he went in without backup. He was way out of position. He gets punished, and now Nana, BKB, manning onto the Alchemist, who tries desperately to stand his ground. The Eclipse comes through, the stop is there, disruption interrupted, Shadow will find a crucial kill on the Draw Ranger, and now Sniper's BKB is worn off. He hasn't killed off Blink just yet, goes for the Hurricane Pike, but Blink gets onto him, kill him. him low. Can he finish him off in time to stop? Not gonna oh, connect, so close, he doesn't oh. get the kill. 
meanwhile, Kangaroo dealing with the Sand King can throw out the orb momentarily. Can look for the turn. He does connect on the sounds and down it up in his own right. Two auto attacks required. He gets it. Faith Beyond down. All three have fallen. Two cores and a support. Afulo uh, dying to the illusions. The four step came in to save the day. Yeah, by the way. Yeah, I mean, they slowly kind of worked it down, but. Uh oh. They're gonna contest this. A good stop could set things up here. Will he get an off in time? Roshan down. Four oh. set. The Aegis hits the deck. Is anyone gonna grab it? Nana's like, I want a piece of that. It ends up being scooped up by Shadow, but immediately destroyed by the hex of Kangaroo. Freshly completed. They're now gonna bring down the slaughter. They might just kill a point. The stop is there. Looking for the disruption. Innocence holding onto it patiently. Let's it go now, but he's still trapped in the pit with a sniper. Continues to land. It doesn't even bother with the cheese. Recognizes it'll probably just be three deaths of the coil. Finding Innocence as well. Up above, Warriors Gaming continue to battle back, and they oh, will man. completely negate that rush. For the epicenter, I suppose, for Faith Beyond, though. Be told, walking in against these long range heroes and BKB is very difficult. Pokes around in the tree line. Here to be ready for now. Nana confidently up top. He's going to go for the Manta Dot. Doesn't connect the Burrow. Also a swing and a miss. Sand King continues to struggle as a hero in this series. Now the Hex, the turn. Looking for a pickoff. Disruption is there to try and save the day. And Warriors Gaming get a reset for the moment. But Nana, still working at building. He's confident up in front. A bit too confident as the BKB and takes the grave. And now a frantic scramble back. Faith Beyond another miss there on the Burrow. The man's got to hit one sooner or later. But it won't be now, I say. He tries to salvage this. The buyback on the Sand King. They've already lost the Sword Art 2. Two big initiators down the coil follow up. Excellent play from Kangaroo. Now the Eclipse, the BKB. But up high, they go in the epicenter. This one's better. Faith Beyond finally. Finally find the openings and some hold, Kevin. They do hold. For the most part. Is that the first Eclipse? I think that's the second. Gotta get each other out of those danger zones and they should be in a good spot. KB on sniper too. He's gonna be ready to really mess up Alchemist or whoever he finds. Oh, and the smoke's gonna break here. I'm not moving in. He's the man in front. Ice Ice. Him revving up the crush. He was thinking about a blink and he hesitates. He's not going to go for it, but oh, no hesitation. Kangaroo has no chill. BKB forced out on Shadow. He mans up onto Afu. Jukes into the trees. The Eclipse being decently dodged so far, but it brings three heroes low. He cheeses. He still has a Satanic to try and survive a bit longer through this. The Puck died and bought back. While this was all happening, he's let Eclipse do a huge work. Nana now on the run. Being forced back. Dazzle also low. Alchemist a Friggin' tank in the front lines will just slowly chip him down. Ah, Jin almost dead. He will end up falling, barely TPing out, so that's three dead with a buyback. God, that Agonim is just yeah. doing some serious work. <laughs> Disruption. Answer spreading wings. Moving in on their own lane of rags here. The glaives are bouncing. There's no buyback on Sniper available. 660 gold short because he just completed the FKB. So now a one-to-one -one lane of rags trade, though. It's a, it's a melee only for now. Will be kept alive for now. Cheese gets dropped. Quick fresh on his health pool. Power nearly dead. They've almost accomplished their objective. And they used uh, Puck a, or Puck will be on that one, so are they going to go back in? Burrow, they're going to find Nana, but the four step back, Glimmer Cape as well. Tower nearly dead though, got to keep an eye on objectives here. Slockdart just gets chunked down. How dare you cross the kill zone, and that is this ramp. Now another Burrow, follow up comes through, still not committing to Shadow. Laying in with the Eclipse, they immediately run back, but he just marches forward. Has the Satanic active, not life stealing much during this We're time. There was nothing to steal, and Shadow won't. Be particularly healthy after this. They got the tower, but they lost one. Pop the cheese. And have to back away. That could potentially break the game. Yeah, so hard for them to leave their base right now. Unless they do a smoke, and that's what they're gonna do. Ooh, get a little hit. And there's the break. They'll look for innocence and just <laughs> look like that. The machine gun growl sniper. That was a comical that's just standing there and just starts starts getting shot. Yeah, shut up, boys. Woo! Not oh, gonna happen. What is now going on? follow still so face beyond. Caught oh, hands off the keyboard for just a moment. Now gonna go after scattering backwards. They have a coil, they will deploy it. Shadow Demon by back also ready. If they wanna take this fight, they could try. Assassinate coming through. Kangaroo on the chase, they're gonna break that coil or be over. The veil still active. Silence is there. They get the gem as well, but now the turnaround. They work on the draw ranger. She's pretty easily brought low, but can they finish her off? Brave. Hurricane Pike. Blink, though. Very tanky in the front lines. I'm just gonna fall. And meanwhile, Nana isolated by Shadow. As soon as this BKB wears off, he's in a hell of a lot of trouble. Shadow must lead him down. Has the Satanic, has the Eclipse. Rains it down from the skies. And now the Yules have to use defensively. Draw gonna buy back. This could be the final fight that decides it all. Puck trying to jot away. No, heads the other direction. Blink to the left. Kangaroo 
just hopping out of here. This is one mobile marsupial, but wings converge him. again, and they will this time. Lock him down and finish him off. Pretty big death there for Puck, but he's got buyback still. A they lot of death. They fought back, Kevin. Wings committed a lot to that fight. 100 seconds before they'll have it, but they still march onto the high ground. They're tired of this game dragging on. They're going to go for it. Wings looking to take second place in the group. They now work on the range racks. Meanwhile, mid being pushed in, they start to kill off those buffer buildings. They have the racks advantage, and they rotate immediately on towards top. They see Sniper not buying back. They expect he might not have it. Kegaru engages anyway. Quick coil there, Shadow. BKB and trying to turn this one around. Works on Ajin, who also has his own BKB, but can't stand against Shadow's damage, at least not for now. The Pug being focused. Kegaru gonna go down. That's a dieback on the Pug. No coil anyway. Even if he could buy back and wings. Closing in on what could be. I'll call it a comeback, though. It felt like this game should have been theirs yeah. from early on. It definitely does, and it's not quite over yet, though. They use Glyph. They've got four heroes now. No puck for 100, but there's a couple of big kills on wings that if they can su succeed with, they can clean up the rest of the fight. Tough, though, with the defensive capabilities here. Faith Beyond jumping in the long range. Burrow is going to follow up the epicenter. Will connect on Aja decently, forcing X Nova back as well. The BKB by X by Nana, I should say, as he tries to find the punish, and he will on Shadow, brings him down, so they hold the base, though there is a buyback on Luna, Wings have all the creeps, oh, it's not over, marching in, fight not over, BOT, come back in for Shadow, immediately looking to rejoin this fight, and meanwhile, Sniper, with a phantom dodge on the unstable concoction, but still getting caught by the crush, X Nova in trouble, it's up to the Drow Ranger, do we work with the disruption there to counter it, X Nana dropping low, but Grave is there to save the day, I have Shadow marching in, they charge forward on these squishy Sniper Drow backliners, it's too much. Warriors Gaming, they will call it. It was a noble effort, though, but it really not was. enough in the end. They looked like they were in such a good place in the, the, the mid to late game, but the issue was their items didn't transition into damage just fast enough. They had this great mid game timing.